Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and this is the E400 and the E800 studio flash heads from Mikansu. Now, these are professional quality studio flash heads, and they come with some excellent features. For example, the casing. No plastic here. That's solid metal, making it very durable. They also come with a built-in cooling fan, meaning that you can use them during an extended studio session. Now, around the back, you're going to find the control panel. Now, here you're going to find all digital controls, as you might expect. So you can digitally control the flash output, and it's very accurate. You can also digitally control the modeling lamp output as well, or you can put it on proportional or turn it off. Another nice feature is the slave cell. Now, slave cells are pretty common on flash heads. You use them to trigger the flash head when it sees another flash head fire. So you can use multiple flash heads without connecting them with wires. Now, there's also another setting on the slave cell. It's called intelligent slave cell. So if you're using a on-camera flash gun or a speed light to trigger your flash units, they'll fire out pre-flashes of light first. And the intelligent slave cell can learn that pre-flash sequence and only fire when the main burst of light actually comes from the flash gun. Other things to look at around here as well. Well, of course, we have the flash test button. We have the beep button, so you get an audible warning when your flash is recycled. There's a mains power on-off, the main socket, and of course there's a sync socket. And both the mains cable and a sync cable are included with the flash head. So that's the bits around the back, but let's have a look at the business end at the front of the flash. Now although the back of the E400 and E800 are exactly the same, there are a couple of small differences when it comes to the front. The first one is the size of the flash tube. The E800 is a much more powerful flash. It's 800 watt seconds in power, twice as powerful as the E400. So the flash tube is that much bigger. There's also a bigger modeling lamp as well. The E800 comes with a 250 watt modeling lamp, which is hugely bright. The E400 comes with a 150 watt modeling lamp, which is plenty bright enough. So those are the differences. What's the same? Well, both the E400 and 800 come with a reflector as part of the flash head. Look inside the reflector and you'll find a small slot. The slot is there so you can slide umbrellas through the slot and they clamp underneath the flash head. Now, if you want to use soft boxes or other light modifiers, you'll be really pleased to know that the reflector is removable and it's fitted by the standard S-type bayonet fitting, better known as a Bowen's fit. Now that's the same in both the 400 and the 800 heads, but there are a couple of other differences. So let's see how these things perform up against each other. As you can see, the E800 is a little bit longer than the E400. It's also just a little bit heavier as well. So when you're choosing a lighting stand, make sure you choose a good heavy duty light stand. Now, because this is a more powerful flash, you'd imagine it would take longer to recharge. And you're pretty much right, it does. But they're both very, very quick. But how much difference is there between an 800 and a 400 watt second lamp? Well, let's test it and find out. Both of these two lights are turned on to their full output. Let's fire them and listen for the beeps when they're ready to fire again. So as you can see, there's not much difference between the two. The E400 was about a second and a half. The E800 was about two seconds. Both of them very, very fast to recycle, even on their full output power. So how much extra light does the E800 give you? It's twice as powerful, we know that. But in real terms, that's about one stop of extra light. Now you might think one stop, well, that's not a lot of extra light, but that extra stop can give you more depth of field. Perfect if you're doing a group shot. Alternatively, you might be using one of these, which is a very large softbox. Now, we looked at the octagonal softbox in a previous video, and if you're using one of these, it helps to have a more powerful light. So using the E800 would be a good choice with a large softbox. So that's the basic information about the Mikansu E800 and E400, but if you want more information, go to the website at www.smic.co.uk. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.